Right, I think I've lost the motorbike here, guys. We're still searching. I'm going to. We're still looking, guys. It's not looking good. We're, We're in, in Cambodia. Cambodia. We arrived here yesterday uh, on the bus from Ho Chi Minh City, yes, and we are currently in Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh. But yeah, we basically didn't do much yesterday. The bus arrived really late. It was a horrible, sweaty bus. The oh. heat here is insane. We were just hungry and tired. And so we just went and got some food from 7-Eleven and went to bed. So today's our first official day in Phnom Penh and it's our last day in Phnom Penh because tomorrow we're going to our first island, Koh Rong. Right guys, Hello. our food has arrived. We'll walk you through what we got in the end. So we've got a lemonade. Hong lemonade. Uh, I imagine it'd be like the meat. And then it was like a meal where you said you get a drink, chips and a sandwich. Bye. So they don't do burgers, well they do burgers here, but I think the big thing is these little sandwich boxes. And mine is, it's the signature, just a chicken one, and yours was... I've got the cheese and garlic one. Mm. Good. And it's gone like that. It looks great. I'm so sick though. <laughs> so we went back to the hostel, we got changed, well, I stayed in the same place. You got changed into your new top. You got your new belt on. And we brought sliders! Finally! How Ooh. long have we been going on about sliders? For way too long. But we're just in a tuk tuk. Rickshaw tuk tuk. Whatever you want to call this. We're heading to, I think it's called What Nom. What Nom. Yeah, What Nom. I can't tell. We'll put like a thing in a screen. But yeah, I heard, I heard there's monkeys there, so I'm hoping I see some. Yeah. We had to grab you longer clothes and to cover yourself oh, up. Yeah. Because we're going to temples, so I've got some trousers, you've got a skirt and so a shirt. It's on my shoulder. But yeah, we're excited. Busy day because we're off tomorrow, but off tomorrow to an island. <laughs> my first ever island as well. We're so excited. We're gonna get this done and then head back. But yeah. Exciting times. Going there for the monkeys, really. We haven't seen monkeys. Well, I'm hoping there's some. Yeah. I've read this online, so I'm like. You can't trust everything, can you? No. We've just arrived at, where have we arrived, Hev? What Nob. What Nob. It's basically, I don't know if it's, called that. it's basically a temple in uh, Nom Pan. Yeah. And it's one of the ones we wanted to come to. Supposedly, we might see monkeys, we might not, but it's beautiful. We've come here for sunset as well, so maybe it's cooled down a bit. Maybe it's perfect time. We've got to go over here now and pay $1 each for a ticket because we're tourists, but what you gotta do, don't you? It's only a dollar. It's only a dollar. Are you ready to go in? Yeah. Yeah? Let's go. Let's go. We haven't done a temple in ages. No, we have I've actually missed them. prepared for um, the, the floor not to be that stable. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> trying not to trip up some sliders. Sliders. I keep getting stuck and I'm like, whoa. So far, no monkeys. That's a problem for me. I want to see one. Second part, this has been amazing. I've loved it. But we're going to explore now the sea a little bit. We're going to try and find these monkeys. <laughs> I want to see one. I'm not leaving non pen until I see a monkey. <laughs> Don't hold me to that. Yeah. I do have We've a, said a lot I of things. I do have a bus to get tomorrow. <laughs> but I will, I'll stay all night until I find one. Okay. We have a bedtime. We're on a hunt for the monkeys. What was that? I can't hear you. I said we're on a hunt for the monkeys. <laughs> but I'm actually a bit worried because I don't know what I'll do when I see one. So I'm low key a bit scared that if I do see one, they're going to attack me. But yeah, so we're just strolling around the town now. Oh, there's a river. But yeah, we're going to see what we can find. And across these crazy roads. Ready? Go. Go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> so, we literally was just talking to the camera and I look across to where we just come from and there's a monkey up there 
in the wire. I'm scared. <laughs> Look how big it is. <laughs> Baba, we see them! We finally got to see the monkeys, they're up in the wires now, it's so cool. You kind of got to keep your distance from these ones, I don't think they're friendly, even the locals are sort of moving away yeah, when one, they come close. Yeah, one of the guys just got up and was like, Left. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this one, yeah. I'm walking. So we're trying to get a few clips of them in the middle of the road though, so it's not the, not the easiest. <laughs> but yeah, it's really, it's really cool. Like, look, they're just chilling up there, look comfy. It's the first monkeys that I've seen in the, like, outside of a zoo it's anyway. Chilling. Yeah. <laughs> So we're just walking back home and this is the beautiful streets we get to walk down. I don't know if it's for everyone else, but I'll show you now. You'll be mad soon. Look at it. You will not believe where we are. We're in Korong Island on Coconut Beach. It's basically like a private beach just for this place, I think. Yeah. Don't hold me to that. No, it is. But, but it's a private beach. This sea is absolutely beautiful. It's the bluest water I've ever seen. The whitest sand I've ever seen as well. Oh my god, it's pain. We're so excited. We've had a bit of a dilemma this morning. So we got the bus to the ferry port, and we went to go get ATM. Went to the ATM to get money out because we found out there was no ATMs on the whole island, and the ATM was broken. So we've only got forty dollars to our name. So we've come to an island with no money. But luckily you can drive to the mainland and you have to pay for cash basically. You pay on your credit card and then they give you cash. It charges you 10%. 10 a lot. So we're gonna lose a bit of money on this little trip, but you win some, you lose some. Don't make the same mistake I did. Get money out days before, ready, set, like ready for you to be. We should have done it last night. We just wasn't being smart. We <laughs> wasn't prepared. We didn't look at it. I didn't Google it until we was on the bus to the ferry port and then that was my last chance. But guys, we want to show you where we're staying because it's so cheap and it's so good. Twenty-two uh, pounds for three nights. We're staying in a in a uh, tent. I yeah. What it's called. <laughs> well, in a tent. It's got a uh, little ladder up, so you're not on the ground, which is nice. And we literally have a sea view. So it's, should we show them? We need to. This is our view from our tent. Every morning we can wake up, and this is what we're seeing. This is going to be oh, our blah, stay. Blah, blah. Isn't it? Yeah. Let's zip this up because there's a ton of lizards. There's ants that are this big. And I'm not sleeping with them tonight. You have to get a bike for the island, I guess, don't you? Yeah. So we're grabbing a bike now, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is what the sea should be like. I just want to show everyone as well, the beaches in Koh Rong are not busy, well, since we've been here, because this is the second beach we've been on and they've both been like this. Yeah. We like to have a beach all to ourselves. Guys, snorkels on. We're at Coconut Beach, our favourite beach on Koh Rong Island. Look at it's our first time snorkeling, so hopefully, we see some cool stuff. <laughs> Look at her! Ah! Look at her! Come this way because the sun. I want to show you. Have a turn. Snorkeled up, baby! Oh, she's dragging me along. <laughs> Oh, I'm just like... Oh, I'm away! I'm away! <laughs> we can't um, find anything, so I think we're just going to go under the water and... <laughs> we're going to get taken out by a wave. It's coming! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I think we've given up with finding stuff, haven't we? Yeah, it's, it's, we just can't sleep with Yeah, we're just going to have some fun today. We're going to try and surf these waves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go further out. Yeah, I need to put this away quick. Ah. <laughs> You're like a little kid in the water. Hammer <laughs> versus the waves. This is my life. Woo. We may have spotted a shark. So I don't know if you guys can see, but there's something bobbing along in like the middle of the water over there. So we're going to go over and try and see what it is without getting in the water. There's some rocks that we can climb on here. We've got to be quick because I don't want to miss it. Huh? Guys, do you see it? <laughs> A golden boy. <laughs> yes. Oh. Ready for this one? <laughs> Go on, we're relaxing, we're looking at the nice views, ready? Beautiful views, beautiful look sea. The, look at the beautiful nice, views. Nice calm water, <laughs> don't look fine. This is where sharks Don't look behind. You're not allowed. Okay. That little one get you. <laughs> right, people. So we've just had some food. After snorkeling was such a failure this morning, we've got the drone out for the first time on the beach. Little sunset swim, just the two of us. I mean, who else would be here? <laughs> who else would <is> fish? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sunset in the distance. This is a scene and a half. Korong Island. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no. I was just talking about how much of a speed it is and then look, <laughs> this is the next thing. <laughs> yeah. The sunset behind you have. Imagine we're watching the sunset in the sea. Waste of fuel. That's all over my hand. Yeah. So I have to run. I have to go into the thing. Yeah. But yeah, first things first. Fill her up. So we have no plan on where we're going or what we're doing. We're generally apart from we're going to make sunset tonight. So we're just going to ride round down anywhere and see what we can find on this island. Yeah. So before exploring Coral Island. Thanks. I don't know if any of you have rode a motorbike, but the worst thing in the world is sand. 
and I'm following the locals. <laughs> Why did they take me this way? <laughs> Basically, this is, what, ah! this is this is off roading to the next level. Okay, watch us slip off, guys. I've already fell over. Oh my goodness! Broke one leg. Okay, it's all right. Whoa! Woohoo! <laughs> I have lies to stop between our eyes. Okay, instead oh, of going around the bad <laughs> oh, oh, Sorry oh, guys. There's a fly. This is beautiful. This is I would say it's up there with Coconut Beach. Yeah, All of the beaches here are so shallow as well, you can walk out for miles. It's really nice. This one's so shallow. You think? Yeah. This one's not as coconut beach has been quite rough with the uh with the sea coming in. Yeah, the waves. This are one's nice and calm, so we'll probably end up coming here quite a few times now. Yeah, maybe. It's beautiful, it's so quiet guys. If you look around, look it's really got its ups. So we've just seen two, maybe three little puppies. We're gonna go out and give them a little bit of a stroke. You will just find random stray dogs around the island, but most of the time they're friendly, at night they're not, but we'll see how it goes. Hello. He doesn't want to know any of it, does he? What's this? What's this? So I splash him. He's off, he doesn't want to know us. The other one's over there, there's three in total. Isn't there? Oh, <laughs> They're all scared. A lot of the dogs on this island are quite scared. I think I've lost the motorbike to you guys. I come here and dropped it, at, it must be somewhere. So I'm going to run back, Heather. Do you want to search the sea? And I'm going to run back to see if it's in the bike, all right? Right guys, I'm on a hunt. I think I might have lost the key. Hello. Hey. So, I've got to run back to the bike to check if it's not in the bike. I hope it was left in the bike, because if it wasn't, it means when I jumped in the sea when we first got there, it was in my pocket and it comes straight out. So, fingers crossed, either the bike's not missing or I've just got back to the bike and there's no key in the bike so this means that it's definitely up there so yeah I've just got back to the bike and the key isn't in the bike so it's gonna be in the sea somewhere hopefully we can find it and it's come up up on the shore maybe not maybe we might have to try and get hold of the Hostel and see what they can do about it. I'm currently searching the sea for this key. Uh, I have no idea where it could be. I hope I find it because it's our only way back right now. So hopefully it comes up somewhere. But if not, we're f We're still searching. I generally don't think we've got a chance. So yeah. We're still looking guys, it's not looking good. Hopefully we see it, hopefully it's in this water and we will be able to see it, but I'm not sure, we're going to have to message them soon. We've been checking for about half hour, 40 minutes in the sea, we can't seem to find it. We're going to retrace our steps and hopefully find it. We've messaged back the hostel, it's so hot, we've got no water and I don't want to be left here when it goes dark. So we've got to try and find a way back to the hostel. Whether that's find us someone to help us, or they come and help us, or we find this key. So I'm currently sat on the beach on my own. Uh, this couple um, was driving past and they stopped. And the guy's gone and driven Brad down to the hostel. And he's messaged me and they said they've got a spare key, so luckily we can keep the bike. And we can go get some food straight after, but God. I mean, if you come to the beach, don't leave the keys in your pockets. That's a message for Brad when he looks back at this. But luckily I've got to sit here and watch a sunset, so, I mean, look how pretty this is. So, can't complain too much, but hopefully get us back here before it gets too dark, because we've got to walk back through the woods again, and 
kind of scary. All the bugs. <sighs> I've come back and this is what she's handed me. It's pitch black. This one's been sat here on her own. On my own. Bless her. We're on the beach. <laughs> this guy's took me back and he's been so lovely to be able to get... It was a 25 minute ride back. We've now got to walk back through the bush. How many keys did she give you? All of them. We now got to walk back through the bush to make sure one of these keys work and get back on the motorbike and head somewhere for some food. We haven't drunk water or eaten. I actually feel stranded. I actually feel like we're stranded on a desert island. I feel How do you think I felt? I God. Was stranded. Okay, guys, we got to go. It's getting so dark. It's so dark in the forest. I'm sorry if this is rubbish, but it's been so stressful.